Hello, welcome to Waypoint Survival. Today, I'm gonna show you how to make a waterproof toilet roll holder using this plastic Domino sugar can. Stay tuned. So before we get started, I wanna remind you of a couple of things. First of all, we teach survival and bushcraft training classes here in Southern Ohio. A lot of people don't seem to know about that, so I wanted to make mention of it at the beginning of the video. We also sell this great Waypoint Survival merchandise, like this hoodie, we have t-shirts and all other kinds of things similar to that, and you can find them in the spring store just down below the video. To make this project, you're going to need a couple of simple things and some simple tools. First of all, you need some sort of a wire hanger, and then you need one of these Domino sugar cans, and it's plastic, so that's very important. Now, they used to have metal cans that would do this, but a lot of things aren't made from metal anymore, so this one works really well. One of the reasons that it works well is because it's a proper size that you can put the toilet roll inside. And it fits just perfectly. You've got a nice handle here to carry it with if you wish. And also where those indents are, they keep the roll from bouncing around a whole lot. First thing you need to do is take a lighter and a piece of wire. This is another piece of a hanger. And you want to heat this up. Make sure this gets nice and hot. When you get that hot enough, you want to put a hole. Right here in the back, I use the seam as a guide. So you wanna make sure that it's pretty tight. You wanna wiggle it around. You wanna make sure it goes in there. And this, of course, helps keep it waterproof. Using that same seam along the top, again, we heat up the wire and we put a small hole in the plastic lid. And those are directly opposite of each other. Next, we take the wire hanger and we cut it in two and we make something that looks like this. And all it is, is this comes this way and it's got a bend and a loop so that that will fasten in there just like that and that's to hold it. At the very bottom of the can, using the other seam, there's a seam directly opposite of the other where it's molded, take some sort of a sharp razor knife and you want to cut a generous slit here. Not too terribly wide, but wide enough so that the toilet roll will fit. You don't want it to pinch the toilet roll, but just make sure it's wide enough that when it goes in there, you can pull the toilet paper out. Next, we remove the lid, and then we feed this end through that small hole in the back. Gotta wiggle it around a little bit, because it is tight, until it comes out the front. And then we put the lid on, just like this. You gotta put it on backwards, and then spin it around like this, so that the loop will hook onto that. Now, we can simply pry this open and insert the toilet roll inside. Now, you may have to go ahead and feed this through first, down in the bottom here, get that started. And put that inside just like this to get that going. All right, pull a little bit of it free. Of course, you can back it up if you need to. And then you snap the lid tight. Make sure that that loop stays on there. All right, and that's where it feeds from, down at the bottom. And this is what it looks like. Full roll of toilet paper. You can pull it out of the bottom. Pulls off really easily. It's got a nice hook on it. You can hook over a branch or a limb, anywhere you need. You can carry this with you, and uh, it's relatively waterproof, watertight, and it's going to keep your toilet roll dry so you can use it when you're out and about camp. This is James Bender for Waypoint Survival. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure and check out the links in the description box below, just under the More button. And while you're down there, you'll also find our waypointsurvival.com link. And this is where you can sign up to take great survival and bushcraft training classes here at our beautiful facility in Southern Ohio. And if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel. We'd really appreciate it. And when you do subscribe, make sure and press that bell button so that you can stay notified of all of our upcoming videos. And we'll talk to you next time.